if you can bear language. We pay our respects to the elders, both past, present, and future. I went there. Welcome to the third edition of the Gully Rocks Man Pira pageant, combining the classic pageants and the rock of elite pageants that you have come to know and love over the years. This pageant is an opportunity to celebrate the variety of lifestyles in which Tully Roxon represents. Before we begin, I would like to introduce some very special people who are from several of the making this pageant second. Oh, my Here are our pageant ambassadors. We have Miss Chrissy. Oh, shivers. There she is. And Betty Butcher. <laughs> Let's have a look at the stage. Yep. Okay. This is the young women. Let's have a look to exploring the fish histories of early 20th century science. Oh, it's like. Since the history of the final scene science is to find the ear of the soul of her fact. She's been in this tangled on the ballast of truly worked on pageants the last four years. Thank you, Chrissy. <laughs> And then we'll serve the study as Bruce Sands with the Mostus, Richard Stylist, Mentor, and all round speed come. Who said that? Thank <laughs> 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 So, I'm going to go to the next thing to say, and you see, we're going to take every nickel up, build up, and safe and supporting. Do you mind what you got done? Yeah, there's a scene. I'm going to say, yeah. Nick, it's good. And we have our stage. Judges. Right. Bonnie Boulevard, our current Hooli Rock Solo title for the dance. Give us a smell. Violet DeVille, our current Hooli Stand Up judge. Turn around. And award winning performer, Shelley Minton. We also have our delightful pageant kittens who will be cultivated at our tennis both on and off stage. This is your moment. Do it also. Lina and Sasek Sunflying. And glamorous, limited edition Hina icon of Australia. She is mostly known for her ability to tell a story through her masterpiece of artistic creation and fashion design. Choosing her favorite objects and patterns and recreating them into big dish and that. Seeing her inside closets and lace on the fashion style, yay, the clothes, roses, of the toilet, then he puts it in the sink and constantly. She smiles with authenticity. They are two women who inspired young girls in a cultural background to be challenged with fitting into a modern society. She spends her life shopping and living her life. A lady that's Woo! 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 You do We me make it in love Okay, no, don't you kiss it Love you back Woo! Thank you, Bob When you back it, right out the way You should feel pretty tender You should be tender You should have locked his dad Larry Yeah He's hot then Yeah Yeah Bambi Blaze puts the rock in Rockabilly. She's a wild little cat. With a twinkle in her eye, it's crunching back to the green outside. She's back to the back of the day, did a little dress, did everything she needs to complete the charity. She seems to be an appropriate. That's all I had to the fixed point to. Hello, to me, man. Bambi Blaze is about to light up the stage with her unique friend and charm in the big city. Oh. 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 Oh.
But that I can think is to sustain it. So, screaming hard on tour than for its own union. Stand by the brakes. And you can take it back. And I went to the pictures. I got a little Donald and Bike is. Hi. Love, love, love. Hi. Love, love. Why is there none left for me? No, this is not. I'm telling you, it blows the best. But all of us, mine, we think it's. She works on her very own native American class. For John Skittles, it's a body work. There's no challenge she can't tackle. That while she's ready to unleash the creative side, Reckless Kitty is meant to Redmond and Blizzard to create our own vintage gym style work. You may be catch a glimpse of their very slap at creation. <laughs> The dolls young. I wish you can never tell this or it was that the distance and so right. Now some of you might recognize this next face as she's been part of the Australian pinup world for the last thirteen years. It's been a while between spins, but please welcome back to the stage, Miss Madeline Mayhem. <laughs> Mayhem fails her days with the things she loves. She keeps busy with her career as an art facilitator and a sewing teacher, but relaxes with her true passion, vintage clothes. She loves spending time designing and creating things, like this outfit, and is an advocate of empowering women through fierce style and grace. Miss Glendall has her very own 1950s beauty salon set up here at the festival, where she can give you a pinup makeover that will transform you from dowdy to deluxe. <laughs> All the way from Sudbury, Melbourne, keep an eye out for her store and say, well, let me speak to you. Please, my dear, you can tell you the best I don't and just to read. And maybe that is why they come for face to me. Glory and it's what Some people say I bless the gay, but every day I feel so gay. And when I'm gay, I pass them to something on his neck. 
now a lady comes tell me that my heart is high because I will not take it up to kiss and die. But if I ever start to bring it up, I shall hide. <laughs> yours, I do that once for Johnny Smith and he is very happy with the good lady. And if you get what you have, <laughs> Miss Bangon. Welcome to the stage, Lauren Rebel. Lauren has been a pinup model since 2008 and is the editor of Queen of Heights magazine. However, she's only entered a handful of pinup competitions. This is a rare opportunity to see her at Ocean. She volunteers for the RSPCA in one of their op shops, which allows her to indulge in her love for different types of fashion. Lauren's outfit is completely on brand tonight because she loves everything that is kitsch, spooky, and spooky. <laughs> I says have a big life for you boys, yeah. and it's also been great for you. But these things can. The Gold Coast own Miss Rossi Delight. She radiates timeless elegance, channeling the spirit of the 1950s. A modern day pin up queen, she captivates like the Calgary girls of yesteryear, and the ladies for body culture. Passionate about rhythms retro, she sashays into the spotlight proving that her beauty transcends age. The most special and final pin-up in the video collage is Huxley's mother, Patricia, sitting on a beach on Kira Beach in the 1950s. Down every day, every day, every day, every day, every day.
Sugar Shake is playing there from 7 p.m., folks. Meanwhile, Reckless Penny is here to bring the fire. She's going to take you for a spin with her circus skills. Strap on your safety glasses, as she always needs a danger warning. Let's give it up for Reckless Penny.
relationship with my sewing machine. Mine is more like this. Won't you work? I want to be seduced. I want a man to take me up to dinner for two. I want to see his eyes get moody, flatten with the photo of Miss Glanda will be showcasing her skills with a plain to pin up makeover. She will show you just how easy it is to wake up looking like a pinup every day. Look what you can do with a hot glue gun. 
little uh, technical difficulty there, nothing to worry about. We'll just uh, we'll move on to the next finalist. Swing back to Lauren a little bit later. I'm waiting for the thumbs up. The look of yes, this is going to happen. <clears throat> oh. Step back in time with our vintage rock and roll DJ, Miss Roxy Delight, as she takes to the stage spinning classic hits that ignited the golden era of the 1950s. Trust me, if you miss that one grain, 
it will stare at you for the rest of your life and mock you. <laughs> Trust me, I know. Our second P is plum bulb. This is my dad's plum bulb. Actually, I lost my dad's plum bulb, so I bought this one from Bunnings three days ago. <laughs> this is my dad's new plum bulb. <laughs> to use a plum bulb, this is to help you align your wallpaper straight. Because a little bit like me for those two weeks in college, your walls will also not be complete straight. <laughs> Measure your wallpaper, find that along your ceiling, hang your plum bulb, and this will be the line that you align your wallpaper to to make sure everything is on straight. You don't want to look like you live in Dr. Seuss's house. If I can ask my lovely stage kitten on stage, we will now move on to the third P, finesse. This all comes down to the paste you use. Paste. Paste should have been the third P. I have an so I have already pre-pasted this lovely wallpaper. This is from my linen cupboard. I recommend wallpapering when your husband goes camping. <laughs> Much like little Sebastian from The Little Mermaid, darling, it is better when it is wetter. You want lots of slip on your wallpaper because that is how you can wiggle it about. To align your wallpaper, oh, she's got a good slip, guys. To align your wallpaper, aim for about the two to three inch mark. Line her up like so, and then you just slowly wiggle and move. This is where the slip comes in. And look at that almost flawless alignment in the back row. I bet that looks perfect. <laughs> you can buy super fancy wallpaper scrapers. This is my travel card. It has single-handedly wallpapered my entire house. <laughs> Look at that. No bubbles, no seams. Can't even hear my husband complaining. And that is how you become a wallpaper master. <laughs> I wish you all a very happy Courtney Rock song and happy wallpapering. I too love wallpapering, except that I forced my husband to do, it, do mine with me. He says he lost 10 years of his life during that ordeal. Lady Lumberg is a thrill seeker and not afraid to get her hands dirty. You'll find her at the racetrack, teaching those boys a lesson or two. Lady Lumber. Hello everybody and welcome to Cooling Gatta Raceway here at the Cooley Roxon 500. A beautiful racetrack along Cooling Gatta Beach all set for some high speed action. Today we are taking a step back in time to watch the wide range of race cars at the track, including Fords, Chevys, Buicks, Volkswagens and some fast go karts. The one to watch out for is the number 10, Lady Lovebug's speedy car, starting from the front row. As we get ready for a race stop, the green flag is high in the air and the drivers rev their engines. And the green flag is dropped and we are racing for the Cooley Rocks on 500. Lady Lovebug's rocket is in the lead, closely followed by some fast drivers. Oh no! She's been pushed wide at turn six and now has a flat tire. She's gonna have to come into the pits. Lucky she has a great mechanic. As the pit crew get ready for a fast pit stop, they need to change that flat tire and get Lady Love Bug back in action fast. The pit crew get to work on the number 10. Lady Love Bug has some of the fastest pit crew in today's race. So we have no doubt she's still well and truly in the hunt to win the Cooley Rock Sun 500. We can now start to see other drivers making a stop for more fuel, fresh tires. This is where the race can be well and truly won or lost. 
putting pressure on its hard working mechanics. The Lady Love Bug team are doing an amazing job. They have the skills to get the job done fast. And I must say too, they are looking fantastic in those team uniforms. The action is well and truly heating up on the track. Lots of battles for the lead. We're getting closer to the end of this fascinating 500 kilometers of racing here in Coolangat. We can now see Lady Lovebug in her number 10, cut back in action and fighting for the race lead. What an incredible race it's been. We're now on the last lap. Check and flag is out, ready for the race leader. Lady Lovebug comes out of the final turn and crosses the line and wins the Cooling Rock Sun 500. What an amazing race. We hope you enjoyed the sensational win by Lady Lovebug in the number 10 car. Make sure you leave the fast driving for the racetrack. Make sure you all get home safe and drive responsibly. Thank you, Miss Lady Lumber. It's the end of a long. Props for this one? No, okay. It's the end of a long day. When everything seems just a little bit tough and all you want to do is blast that one song that you love and shake out all the stress. For Miss Polly Rose, it's got to be Britney, bitch.
backing vocals and backing vocals. <laughs> All right. Our next talent needs no reintroduction. She's ready to go, 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 psycho with her spectacular go, go dance. Lauren Rebel. <laughs> Like, ooh. When you see them do something a bit 
Is that raunchy? <laughs> raunchy? Sexy? Maybe they'll flash a bit of skin? <laughs> I want to hear you all. I want to hear some woohoos. I want to see some fist pumping. Like that. Yeah?
the sabotage before the uh, before we're through here. As fierce as a feline, as sleek as a jaguar. Moonlight is the best time for Madeline to shine. Welcome her back to the stage, Madeline Mayhem! If the drink that you don't pour, now when you take one sip, you won't make any more. You're small as a beetle, a big as a whale. Town is cut through. All around the place. When you see it coming, just grab your suitcase. Just send it through the sky just like air mail. Boom! Atomic cocktail. You push your button, you turn the dial. Your work is done for miles and miles. When it hits the bound, you think you're going to be just like a new queen. in her wardrobe. In every outfit Lauren is wearing tonight during the festival, and during the festival, she's rocking the color purple as a major influence on her fashion choices. She's very friendly, says right here. Very friendly. So she recommends that if you see her around pulling at her over the weekend, come and say hi and tell her something about yourself. Lauren Rebel! Now a square with a horn makes you wish you 
join Miss Roxy Delight at the prom and return to the 50s for an evening of glamour and elegance. This is where unforgettable memories are made with classic cars, slow dancing and enchanting music. Miss Roxy Delight. <laughs>
pin up is Miss Heather Lee. Miss Heather Lee is gracing the stage wearing her emerald green evening wear, made extra special by the jewels from her mother that adorn her neck. The allure of this off the shoulder number with a black star lends to the glamour of the era. Another dramatic pause. <laughs> and finally, we have Aphrodite Darling. Tonight, for evening where Aphrodite travels to 1965 Grammy Awards. Though Motown Records had a humble beginning, it amassed 79 hits in the top 10 in the first decade and many awards. Today, she combines classic elegance and bold glamour to recreate a look that is the hallmark of the 1960s red carpet. Aphrodite Darling. goes to Miss Aphrodite. We are going to welcome our finalists back to the stage. They pick the Miss Collie Rose. 
she said, bye bye. Yeah. It's a dog it's tough. Miss Candelady. Miss Candelady. Aphrodite, darling. Hello. Oh, no. <laughs> a big congratulations to all the love fighters. Our stage kittens, Lena Levine and Sassy Summerflower. I'd like to take this moment to thank our esteemed judges, Bunny Worldwide, Violet DeVille, and Shelly Lusa. Please congratulate our Rockabilly winner, Excited. Reckless Penny. <laughs> Six Most entertaining dinner is Aphrodite Darling. Six. It is the famous the fight. Stay on. Let's start a couple of years ago. I'm going to have guests go and say, so I'm going to go to the back. I'll go to the gold guy. Yes, I am. There we have both our three winners who like to play each other. Otherwise, no. No, no, 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 no. The two of them had switched the outfits on the outfitizer. What are we switching? To make it better, the names of the world and spark the world to see the holiday. Woo! Now it's going to jump. Just talk to you and still enjoy it. Sorry. Oh, it's really good. Well, good. It's better. It's really up in here. 